another thing that you could do if you want to rest is you know do things that bring you to the moment right like you guys see here um i have this um a singing bowl right i mean this is a really small one and you know i would love to own a bigger one but these things are expensive and you know all that logistics <laughs> but these things are really nice because what it does for me is like really um you know makes me focus on this because if i don't focus on it entirely then i'm not going to be able to create that calming sound that i desire so i'm com constantly completely focused on this right That is very nice that is like calming kind of gives uh, you uh, the vibration that your body almost like appreciates right and your mind almost finds it like calming to hear these frequencies so you know you can do something like this right i even have like right here um i have this uh, little um, white sand garden like a mini sand garden it's like a japanese practice i believe where the you know uh, uh, in traditional japanese houses they actually have big gardens where people have like life-size like rakes my rake is really tiny right but people have life-size rakes that they go around and they you know uh, uh, move their sand you know to chip move their plants you know move the statues and everything and kind of just involve himself, themselves in this moment where they're just paying attention to the entirety of what they're doing right so that's something like you know you could do as well like um and this is something you can buy it in like five below or something i believe uh, my wife got me like two of these so i put them together that's why i have like two different buddhas here so i just sit here and i like rake this around flatten the sand like i'll take these apart and then you know like put them back in so this kind of gives you these moments where you can just calm yourself down just make sure you focus in the moment because if you don't focus like you're gonna spill the sand a little bit like i did almost right now right and pretty much that's the idea like do things like this like just little things things that don't really have that big of a consequence in your life but have a large consequence in your like mental health in your, like your calmness in uh, you know how you see the world on a daily basis right so these are the kind of things that you would want to involve in so that you kind of bring yourself to the moment really focus on what you're doing and you know kind of let yourself just uh chill <laughs> I don't know how else to say it right just let yourself chill once in a while and doing something like this where you're focused in the moment where you're doing something inconsequential but still your mind your uh, you know um, OCD is engaged your uh, you know you're getting some form of dopamine response uh, within this uh, activity right so definitely do something small like that and that really also changes a lot of how you think so going forward in this year you know just create small habits like these that might end up creating a big change in your life that might end up making a big difference long term in your life so now that i talked to you guys about you know just a couple of things that i've been thinking about because uh, these are the things that i'm trying to focus on in my life so that's why you know i'm bringing it to you guys because this almost feels like i'm writing a diary like i'm sharing my thoughts you know it's it's really nice so uh what did i talk about like yeah staying in the moment like uh, you know like we just uh, talked about uh you know setting a good vision and uh, doing small things daily so that you can reach that vision right there's a lot of things that we can do um this new year is that i am tr gonna try to do i'm going to try to stick to these things and try to really create a positive mindset going forward right but um i actually do want to kind of um, pick a card from here so i hope you guys want to join me on this as well so um, this is the deck of cards by lucy cavendish that i've opened a couple of times before with you guys as well this one i think i think you guys remember this but 
it's a really cool uh, deck of cards. I love the color. <laughs> I don't know. I'm obsessed with this color in here, so I always bring it up. But and then like these cards, like the way they come in, they sit like perfectly right here. They're like, see, this is a, such a nice deck of cards. So let's pick something out from this. Mm, as usual, to connect with your self love, close your eyes. Breathe deeply and slowly while you shuffle the cards. Remind yourself that you are safe, you are free, and you are loved. When you feel ready, choose a card. Listen as you read the words out loud. Feel the love and support your soul has for you. Repeat the message and acknowledge your love of self throughout your day, right? Alright, as usual, let's start by closing our eyes, taking a deep breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth, okay? Let's go. All right, guys, so let's pick something today. See uh, what the universe wants us to pay attention to this coming year, right? See what we need to focus on, you know, see what it is that we need to uh, have in the back of our mind, right? So, all right, let's see. Here's our deck of cards. I'm going to try not to look at this. I'm not going to cheat, I promise. <laughs> all right, so let's see. I'm going to take out something random from right here in the middle because this kind of feels like it's calling me. What do you guys think? Yeah? All right. We'll go with this, right? All right, all right, all right. So, this thing is giving me troubles right now. It never gives me troubles. Oh, because I'm trying to put you upside down, see? I don't like going upside down apparently either. So, i got to make sure I put them right side up. There you go, there you go. All right, so look at this artwork. How beautiful is this thing? Today's um, affirmation, right? Seeking insight. I learn something new every day. I enrich myself with wisdom and knowledge that expands my world. Every day is an opportunity to grow and understand more. <laughs> It almost feels like I cheated, right? Because I was talking about manifesting and, you know, doing something new every day, doing something that moves you towards your goal every day. And that's what the universe wants us to focus on, right? This year looks like that's what we need to focus on, doing something small every day, something new every day that moves us closer to our vision, closer to our larger goal, right? And honestly, I'm very glad this is what we picked because this is so relevant to us right now. Thank you so much for listening to whatever rant I had going on today, right? Thank you so much for sitting here and listening to me babble on. I really appreciate it. Uh, please, please, please leave a like on this video. Uh, share this video with anybody that you think is going to find my range relevant. Uh, leave me some comments so that I know what you guys think about me, what you guys think about what I talk about, and maybe even give me suggestions on the uh, future videos. Um, I would love for you guys to also, you know, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell icon, you know, all of that. So um, definitely, definitely do all of that, support my channel, and we'll keep uh, this going. Thank you so much again for being here. Uh, find yourself one of these guys, come on. Um, these are cheap, these are uh, calming, and almost like therapeutic in every sense of the word. So why not do it? All right, guys, it's been Bippin'. Have a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Namaste.